Hey, David Breslow back here with you again, founder of mentalgolfcoaching.com. In today's training video, I want to talk to you about something very important, and it's the word resilience. Probably the most important trait that you can have on or off the golf course. It's your ability to bounce back, and not only bounce back, but be better than you were before. But more specifically, I want to talk about emotional resilience, because emotions can cause all sorts of things to go right or go wrong on the golf course. Here's an interesting little tidbit. Emotions are 40 to 60 times stronger than the intellect. Think about that for a second. 40 to 60 times stronger than the intellect. That means when you get angry or you get really frustrated and your emotions have reached a certain intensity level, don't you understand and don't you know that when that has happened and you try to talk yourself down by being rational and logical, going, oh, okay, you know, stop this, stop that. Did you ever notice how that doesn't really work? Well, here's, that's the reason. It's because emotions in the body are 40 to 60 times stronger than the intellect. It's like taking a pea shooter to a gunfight. Uh, the gun always wins, doesn't it? So the idea is to not allow your emotions to get to that kind of level of intensity. So here's a cool drill I have for you today. I call it the traffic light drill. So we're basically using the colors of the traffic light, red, yellow, and green. So here's a way for you to monitor your emotions using this traffic light drill. We're using a range from one to 10. One to three is the yellow range. That's the caution range. Generally, that indicates that you're a little bit too low. So if your emotions are ranging in the one, two, three area, they're too low because emotions are important. Emotions are a key ingredient in playing really great golf, no matter what level you are. And then the next level is the green. So it's yellow first, caution, too low. Green, green is the go signal. Range four, five, six, even seven. Four, five, six, and seven. Those are those perfect emotions that are moving you just like this. They kind of go up a little bit and down a little bit. It's the ideal emotional state that allows you to play your best golf. It's not too high and it's not too low. And then you have the red area that is 8, 9, and 10. When you're in that area, there's too much anger, there's too much frustration. So one of the keys to doing this properly is to start rating your emotions. You have to be aware, of course, when you're having them. And if your emotional level is too low, if you're walking around just kind of uh, like that, and like not making a big deal about anything, and everything's blah, 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 okay, that's too low. You're in a one, two, or three area there. That's yellow. That's a yellow caution. You want to get those emotions to be in the four, five, six, and even seven range. That's that kind of in-between range, four, five, six, or seven, where you're feeling good, you're feeling positive, you're feeling confident, or if you're a little bit negative, it's okay, but you move through it quickly. That's that four to seven range. That's fine. That's go time. And then when you're in the eight, nine, ten range, that's when you realize that you're too uptight, you're too angry, you're too frustrated, you're not letting go of things, you're allowing shots from, from five minutes ago or two holes ago to still get in the way. That's how you know you're in the eight, nine, ten range. So next time you go out and play around to go, start rating your emotional level. Am I in a one, two, three range? Am I in a four to seven range? And am I in a eight to 10 range? You don't have to know ahead of time what it is. You know what feels good to you. What feels good is gonna be in that four to seven range. What feels too low and low energy and low uh, positive emotion is one to three. What feels too high, too much, too angry, too frustrated, then you know you're gonna be eight to 10 somewhere. So use this traffic light scale and see if it helps you on the golf course. I know the people who have used it really come out with some really great results. So that's my tip for today. As always, please leave a note at the bottom of this video. Would love to hear from you and get involved in a, in a chat with you about any questions you may have concerning this. And you're also welcome to visit mentalgolfcoaching.com and take a look at what I have for you over there. Dave Breslow, good to talk to you again. Take care.